and welcome back to my kitchen. In today's menu, we are making vegetable soup. For our vegetable soup, I choose kale because of all the super healthy greens, kale is king. Guys, this kale is definitely one of the healthiest and most nutritious plant foods in existence. Okay, get ready with me and let's start cooking. Guys, kale is loaded with all sorts of beneficial compounds, some of which have powerful medicinal properties. Okay, so join me as we prepare this delicious, healthy, and yummy vegetable soup. Let's get started! For our vegetable soup, we need the kale, of course. Here it is. Let me show you. We need beef, crayfish, palm oil, salt. In my plate, I've got dry fish, garlic and ginger, bell pepper, onions, and some no cube for seasoning. So, guys, let's prepare our beef. So, we put the beef in the pot, guys. Go ahead and chop in some onions, okay, for that extra flavor then after chopping in your onions you go ahead and sprinkle some salt and do not forget also to put your nut cube okay here yeah, i am just using one nut cube then i set that aside i'll go ahead and prepare my garlic and ginger for extra flavoring of the beef okay guys like you see me do I am just peeling the garlic and peeling the ginger which I'm going to blend together with a little bit of water. I don't need water in my recipe. In the vegetable soup that I'm cooking, I don't need water in it, okay? The only water you will see me add is either I'm blending my ingredients. So guys, go ahead and blend your garlic and ginger into a smooth paste which you will then pour over your beef and then you go ahead and cook it. Now I'm going to set this onto the stove. And here guys, we go ahead and start preparing the kale. I'm removing the leaf from the stem because I don't need the stem in my recipe, okay? So after removing it, I'll go ahead and chop it with a vegetable knife. Chop it finely to small, small pieces, okay? We don't want chunk in our soup. You have to be very careful when handling the knife, okay? <laughs> don't do it fast. It's, it's fast here in the video because I fast forwarded but in, in actual life i took my time to chop this vegetable okay guys so chop it like the real housewife will do okay all right <laughs> and set that aside in cold water to rinse okay guys because you don't want sun in your food <laughs> So I will just repeat the process of chopping the vegetable until I complete all the vegetable. Like I told you guys earlier, kale is among the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. You know why? Because kale is very high in nutrients and very low in calories, making it one of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. So after washing it, I'm just squeezing out excess water 
okay then i will set that aside you can see my beef is ready and now i want to prepare the rest of my ingredients in a food processor guys now i want to chop 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 the bell red pepper and one large onions again the reason why i'm using a food processor is because i don't need water in chopping this red pepper and onions i want it chunky i don't want it fine 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 okay guys because when you prepare kale i'm going to mix my kale with water leaf but you can go ahead and mix yours with with um baby spinach these two leafy greens are too green if you cook your soup with just the leafy greens it will look appealing to the eyes remember i told you guys you eat first with your eyes before you eat with your mouth so what you see me do here is chopping the bell pepper with the onions together i didn't make it smooth because i wanted to show in my soup here is my water leaf i always store my water leaf in the freezer because it's seasonal okay when there's no water leaf in season i go ahead and i remove the one which has been stored in the freezer to use so yeah guys you see me just warming up some palm oil in my pot okay because we are getting ready for the big deal here is the real deal now go in with your chopped red bell pepper and onions into your warm palm oil guys this step is very very important because you don't want the bell pepper and onions to burn so you will continue stirring this so that it can cook okay guys stir it stir it stir it to enable it cook okay guys i want to appreciate you all for your love for your care and for your support thank you for allowing me into your space okay thank you for allowing me into your home okay guys for those who are new i want to say welcome to the family if you have not yet subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button also do not forget to hit the notification bell so each time i upload a new video youtube will notify you so guys to the cooking now that you are your 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 bell pepper and the onions have been cooking for some time you go ahead now and put in your beef okay remember your beef has been pre-cooked with some seasoning as well so you go ahead and put in your beef and allow that to cook for five minutes just to incorporate your beef with your peppers so after five minutes guys you go ahead and put in your water leaf remember my water leaf is frozen so i will defrost it inside my pot i don't defrost my water leaf outside the pot it will turn black it, it, the color will change from green to dark so i want to maintain this green color so i will defrost it inside my soup right now i'm going to cover it and let it cook for about five minutes just so that my water leaf will defrost if you are using the fresh water leaf you can just chop it and you skip the the defrosting process you just go ahead and put that right in into your pot okay so now my water leaf has been defrosted i'm just stirring that to incorporate with the beef and the bell pepper okay guys the flavor i'm perceiving here guys is something else you just need to try this okay eating kale is so so healthy and beneficial for us okay guys many powerful antioxidants are formed in kale including casein which have numerous benefits effects on health okay guys so now that my water leaf has been cooking for about five minutes i'm just going ahead to put in my crayfish and some no cube again and a pinch of salt just to make sure that it's tasting real good okay then i will go ahead and add in my crayfish
now i'm adding in my kale okay guys this kale is extremely high in vitamin c it is uh, vitamin c is an antioxidant that has many important rules in the body a single cup of, of raw kale actually contains more vitamin c than an orange okay guys so now when adding the kale you have to be very careful use your eyes it's a bit tricky because you don't want to overpower the kale in the soup okay you want your red bell pepper to show when when you you, you complete the, the cooking process you want it to look appetizing to the eyes so you don't just bombard your soup with the kale okay so now you go ahead with your dry fish here i am using smoked mackerel which i smoked in my kitchen if you want to know how i smoke the mackerel check down below you will see the video okay now you just want to cover that and let it steam up for about five minutes you don't want to overcook your vegetable okay guys because this kale contains a lot of healthy substances which you do not want to destroy in the heating process So guys, our vegetable soup is ready. Now just go ahead and dish up and enjoy with any swallow of your choice. You can even enjoy it with plantain. You can enjoy it with rice. You can enjoy it with boiled potatoes, yam, even pap. Okay, guys. Guys, kale has substances, okay? Healthy substances that have been shown to help fight cancer in test tubes and animal studies, okay? So go ahead and enjoy your kale. It can also lower blood sugar, okay guys? If you know anyone who is suffering from high cholesterol, recommend them to eat a lot of kale if they have diabetes let them eat kale because it will lower the amount of sugar in your blood okay guys this will be all from me your girl lucy for today until next time when i come your way i will see you in my next video stay safe keep well and bye